up guys, what's going on? So it's me video and today we are back in another episode of Arc Survival Evolved and today I am so excited because last episode we failed miserably, well not really miserably, it just so happens that we kind of murdered what we were trying to tame. But we tamed an HDSR, Shamu! Get over here Shamu, look at this beautiful bastard. I was actually building him a pen until I realized that he won't fit through the gate. It, it's actually kind of weird, he fits through the gate, but uh, he won't fit through the gate if there's uh, an, an, a door, which is kind of... Kind of poopy, because that means he barely fits. So we just kind of leave him here and pray that he doesn't get attacked by Carnotauruses like Crockbot did. That was really sad. I mean, maybe Carnotauruses don't attack sea animals. That's the hope. Anyways, here, as you can already see, he's got a couple levels. I've been putting a couple of points into him. I think I put some into a little bit into health, but his health only goes up by like 20 or something. It kind of sucks. So I was, I was going to work on movement speed a little bit and make sure this dude's like a little bit of a crackhead, a little bit of a speed demon. And see how that goes. And I want to take him out for a ride today. But in order to do that, what we got to do... Also, we still don't have the Argentavis saddle. Albeit, we are getting very close. We have, like... I just got to get a little bit more carrots and a little bit more chitin. And then uh, Demo will uh, go ahead and craft it for us. So, honestly, probably expect that in the next couple episodes. And also, next episode, expect us to do a little bit of more building. Because next episode, they are fully incorporating the... Uh, whatchamacall? The... Da, 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 da. I, I don't know what we're incorporating shit. Oh, Bane's about to get another level, too. We'll level him up later. They're incorporating the entire stone tier. So, like, not just... It's not just going to be, like, stone walls. They're doing an entire stone tier. And that's kind of what we were hoping for, so we can improve our base, like, an absolute shit ton. And make that thing up there just awesome. Because that's pretty much, like, our outpost and hopefully our base down the line. But for now, I mean... Not really much of a point in us moving there since, you know, here we have, like, pretty much all of our dinos and everything that matters, including Peter Griffin, who's a fucking boss. Look at him, except we're stuck on him, so we can't look at him. Hold up. Just moving all these things aside. And then we're going to take out Queen Carnage for a spin, actually. Not Diego. Diego's been getting a lot of wear and tear lately. You know, we've been using him a lot. He, he's, he deserves a little, bit of a little bit of a break today. So we're going to go ahead and take out our Carnotaurus, which actually probably has a couple levels here. Same with the Argentavis, now that I think about it. Might as well level this dude up. Uh, what should we put his points up into? Stamina's absolutely fine. Uh, probably health. Make him into a bit of a tank. And potentially even movement speed. Oh, movement speed goes up by nothing. Fuck that. Let's do health, make him a tank. And then we'll do melee damage too. And do we want to rip off his talons, by the way? Is that, is that something we want to do? I don't know. Anyways, we're going to take out Queen Carnage for a spin here. Our beloved Carno. And uh, she's actually got a level here. Potentially too. And uh, her health is absolutely dope, so let's start working on that melee damage here. Uh, even more so. Mmm. Mmm. Carno, you are looking good. Looking good. Let's go ahead and start taking her out. And uh, so here's what we want to do. If we do want to take Shamu out for a spin, we kind of got to go ahead and clear the river and make sure there's nothing extremely dangerous waiting there. Because, like, I saw a scorpion down here. I don't want Shamu getting attacked by scorpions. Like, Dillos won't attack her, so that's the good news. But, you know... We just gotta go ahead and clear some of the hostile mobs, uh, hostile dinos and creatures, not mobs, this isn't Minecraft. Anyways, how, how strong are you, Queen Carnage? How many hits? Uh, not shabby. Ooh! Wait, wait, wait. She gets... She gets berries, too? Or, we got those from, we got those from the scorpion, that would make sense. Uh, hopefully she doesn't fall unconscious here. Anyways, so what we gotta do is just go ahead and, uh, clear this area, make sure there's no rocks completely blocking off the river. So as long as there's like a bit of a pathway for us to go through, then we should be able to head on over and uh, go to the ocean and have ourselves a little bit of fun, which is the hope, because I want to go swimming around with our, uh, I'm essentially going to call it a dolphin, because that's kind of what it is, but I do know that it is an Ichthyosaur. I believe I pronounced that right that time. Ichthyosaur. However, I call them Itchies and it Achies, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, let's go ahead and see how Queen Carnage does. I mean, might as well do some battling with Queen Carnage here, and... Actually pretty solid against the carbon enemies. Let's see if we can get a couple keratin here. Yeah, we got two keratin, four hide, and five meat. If that was Diego, the most keratin I've ever gotten out of Diego, our Sabertooth, I shit you not, 17 keratin in one swipe. Diego is insane sometimes, and that's what I love. That's why we gotta keep leveling up his melee damage, and it's gonna be awesome. Uh, so this rock looks to be a little bit in the way, so we might as well do what we can and move it out the way. Also, pretty soon, I'm planning on uh, making some ammunition for the shotgun because there's uh, we got a bit of a reason because pretty soon we're going to be heading up to the northern caves and uh, or the northern cave, I believe, on the northern island. I don't know if you can see. I think it's up there, up north. It's kind of like a beginning to show. Like if you go, like let's say, 10 lat... or like If you look at like 17 latitude 
and about 80 longitude. You can kind of see another landmass starting to form. That island, I believe, that's the island with the hardest cave on it. And we're talking like insanely hard. So the game plan is we got a shotgun back at base. We just never had ammo for it. Uh, the game plan is to go ahead and try to craft some ammunition for that shotgun. So what we have to do is just get ourselves a shit ton of metal ingots for that, along with a shit ton of gunpowder. But again, gunpowder, it's not really the most insane thing. We just need a lot of flint and stone. And if you're looking at it right now, because like charcoal-wise, we have all the charcoal in the world. Like flint and stone, I mean, just hitting some of these rocks. I think we have 200 flint back home, maybe like... A good chunk of stone but again we can always get more and especially once we get an ankle sore i don't know when we're getting an ankle sore i definitely do want to get one though uh that will also help out quite a bit speaking of that all right we just got to clear out i think this is the last rock and we should be good to go and we can take our itch the sort out for a little bit of a spin and we're getting actually a lot of metal out of these rocks surprisingly enough i'm to i don't remember getting this much metal lately but apparently the metal gods are smiling down upon us today um, yeah, we got a pretty nice path to the ocean. We should be good to go. That is what we are looking like here. So, all right, let's go ahead. Let's go back. Let's get Shamu. That is how you pronounce it. It's not, you can't just say Shamu. You gotta say Shamu. You gotta really put the emphasis on the ooh. Just a bit heads up. I don't want anyone here getting like yelled at for uh, mispronouncing Shamu. Anyways, hopefully you guys love Shamu. And, uh, you know, if you love Shamu, Leave a comment down below pronouncing Shamu correctly. I want to hear like Shamu. All right, I need to see that. And is that a Parasaur attacking a Stego? What the fuck? That looked kind of weird. Anyways, yeah, I need to see the Shamu love because Shamu deserves the love. And you guys are gonna see why Shamu is gonna be awesome here. And also lately with my level ups, we're actually about to hit 45. If you look at this, about to hit 45. And once we hit 45, we're gonna have a whole plethora of new stuff available to us. Uh, including even the Megalodon saddle, so we could try and tame the Megalodon. Albeit, the Megalodon is kind of a pain in the ass to tame, at least to my knowledge, but uh, we'll definitely try. Uh, with the Megalodon, though, Megalodon's too big, so we can't bring it inland to, like, this river. Because that's the thing, like, if you leave these things out uh, in the deep ocean, th there's a good chance they'll get attacked by Megalodons. That's why I kind of like to bring them inland. I mean, as long as there's not, like, a Carnotaurus trying to murder us, usually that buffs out. At least, I'd hope so, anyways. I do want to very quickly head into the base here and check something, because I want to check just our, uh, how much flint and shit we have. Hey! Mike! Oh my god, you were pregnant! Mike! Ah! Look at these trike eggs. Shit never goes bad. We get, oh, sh Actually, we had a couple in our chests, I think. Those probably went bad, because those were not... They don't have the multiplier or anything. Speaking of that, preserving bins... Ow! What the fuck?! What the fuck? Yo, you bitch! You bitch! What are you doing? What are you doing? Fuck off, trike! Ow! You dick! You fucking dick! Why? Why are you doing this? Die! Die! And my pike broke! Oh, no! Why? I did not even hit you! You... You psychotic motherfucker! Okay, okay, it's dead, it's dead. Why? Why? There is no rhyme or reason for you to do that shit. I did not even hurt you. I closed a fucking door. And you're out here attacking me like I'm a... I don't even know. Okay, I'm just gonna go take Shamu out for a spin. Because that's less depressing than getting attacked. And I mean, now everyone's heads are fucking... I mean, Donatella's ass is sticking out the goddamn fence. So God knows what. Anyways. Shamu! We gotta go and get Shamu. I just love pronouncing it that way. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just love it. Best name on a... I should probably throw some. Anyways, yeah, as you can see here. 149 keratin, plus... Did I hear someone talk? I thought I heard someone's voice. No, no, I think we're good. Okay, okay. Well, very quickly, too, we should probably move some of these guys out of the fence area so they're not, like... So they don't die when shit hits the fan, because... I don't want, like, someone coming up and just, like, hitting their tails through the wall or something and just getting easy kills. I don't want that. Uh, let's move you here. Also, I just love how I named the stupid Argentavis Peter Griffin. It's amazing. Let's just acknowledge that. It's amazing. Alright. Now then. Let's try and make this jump. Ugh. There we go. Parkour masters. Do that. And uh, we actually have some of this metal we can just throw in here. And as you can see, so much charcoal. Uh, and then flint-wise, I think we have a very good portion of flint. Like, we have 250 stone. I was going to use that for, like, building, though. Uh, but still, like, 250 stone. We have 95 flint on us. I'm pretty sure one of these chests... Yeah. 
We got a lot of flint, so we should be able to make quite a sizable chunk of gunpowder. I mean, we have charcoal literally flowing out of our ass, so that's not a problem. Uh, honestly, we're looking to be in good shape gunpowder-wise. We just might have to get, like, some more of that. And then, because as you can see here with the bullets, the bullets, right here, you can see that's for weapons and firearms. Not firearms. For weapons and ammo. Shotgun shells take three simple bullets, a metal ingot, and three gunpowder, and then a simple bullet takes a metal ingot and six gunpowder. So really, we're going to be needing a lot of gunpowder. Anyways, enough small talk. Shamu! We got to go. We got to get out of Shamu. We got to have ourselves a little bit of fun. Oh, Shamu. Let, let's go. Let's go. Let's be free. Look at this speed demon. Look at him. Look at him. This is why I call him a dolphin. He literally looks like a dolphin. Oh, fuck. I thought we just got stuck. I'm like, well, rip, rip, rippy dippy. Oh, God. Yeah, as you can see, it is... I do like the fact that they fixed... They made it a lot harder to beat your shit. Uh, and also, like I was saying, like I, when, lately when I've been leveling up, a lot of my points, personally, have been going into oxygen now because we're going to start doing underwater shit. And especially once we want to try and tame the plesiosaur, because the plesiosaur is fucking insane. That thing's like, to my knowledge, the hardest thing to tame right now. Because you got to like go under, it's like, it's a killer. You got to go underwater. You got to knock it out. It's truly going to be a struggle and we're going to need a lot of people. And we gotta be able to knock them out nice and easy. Anyways, game plan is to not get attacked by sharks. Those things are kind of dickwads. I um, mean, let's see. If we swim by them, are they going to chase us or something? Uh, no. Sharks seem to be pretty fucking friendly. That's nice to hear. Good to hear, sharks. You know, you're a cool cat. No, nope, friendly my ass. They're chasing us again. Oh, no. We're starving. Oh, shit. We're starving. We should, probably should have got some food. Anyways, though. Look at how awesome this is. Fucking just... Oh, don't get stuck above the water. That's even worse. Uh, we're going to bring you a bit inland here, Shamu, so I can just get a little bit of food through, like, some berries. Because I don't really want to die. That's not on my list of things to do today. I right, let's bring it inland to the point where sharks can't come and kill you. That's, that's what I like about being in this river area here, is that sharks won't come and murder us. You know, usually being murdered is bad, so when sharks don't do it, I'm relatively happy. Anyways, I'm just going to probably pick some berries here. Very disappointed that I had a empty stomach. I guess my guy was just too excited to uh, be riding Shamu. So he was probably starting going hungry a bit quicker. Anyways, this should be nice and easy though. Just picking a shit ton of berries. Absolute poop ton of it. And we should just be able to munch, chow down on these in a sec here. And really, if we're riding on top of Shamu, our hunger shouldn't be going down too much. So that's the plan, hopefully. That is the hopeful plan. Anyways, now that we got that, let us chow down on these things. Not the narco berries. Do not want to chow down on those. I mean, if maybe if we're having trouble sleeping, we do. But uh, we don't really want to fall asleep in the middle of the ocean. That's a disaster waiting to happen. Anyways, these things are like decent attackers too. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and try to take out one of these coelacanths in the water. It is kind of hard, though, because, like, with water mounts, they can't really travel backwards. So you gotta just be able to, like, move. You can only move up, pretty much. That's the only only direction they know. And, uh, where the fuck are these things? There's one right there. There we go. Ah, nice, nice. We two hit the thing. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, these things aren't really, like, suited for, like, killing sharks and shit, though. I mean, maybe if we build him to be a tank, he would be, but probably not the best. Anyways, look at how awesome this is. We can just, like, super fast underwater. We can go pretty damn deep like this. I mean, here we have some oil deposits, I think. We could start hitting those if, like, the waters were clear. There's nothing stopping us. And I mean, as long as we got oxygen, you know, there's a whole world for us to explore down here. Like, is that silica pearls? That's fucking something. That is shiny as shit. But yeah, now that we have a water mount... As long as we have the oxygen and the waters are clear, there's a whole new world open to us. And I am so excited about that. And Shamu, hurry your ass back up to the surface before sharks show up and or before I drown. Please, Shamu, don't do this to me. But yeah, this is awesome because it opens up a whole new world of opportunity. We can go deep as shit. I mean, honestly, though, ah, that's a shark. Honestly? Thinking our best bet is going to be to level up stamina and movement speed with Shamu so that we can go as deep as possible without exhausting too much energy. And uh, as long as these waters are clear, man, we're going to be able to... We got so many opportunities open to us now. I mean, even when we're, like, going normal speed, the sharks can't catch up to us. So we're never really in danger as long as there's no sharks nearby and there's nothing trying to kill us. We should be good to go. And uh, 
Now those silica pearls down below, we're going to need those. Those are going to be important because we actually need them in order to create the Spinosaurus saddle. That's kind of what was stopping me from even trying to tame one, a Spinosaur. Is that, and, and the fact we'd have nowhere to store it because the gate is the behemoth gate we'd have to craft. We're not even high enough level for that. Hopefully we come high enough level soon. But uh, yeah, we couldn't even craft that. So uh, as soon as we can craft that, we'll definitely start taming up some bigger dinos that we can fit. Uh, it's a good chunk. I think it's like 130 metal though and like 30 cementing paste. And cementing paste, that is expensive. Luckily for us though, Diego absolutely loves to kill turtles and get a fuck ton of keratin out of them. Anyways, let's do a little bit more swimming around here. Uh, let's try and kill another Ichthyosaur. Let's do a little Ichthyosaur battle. Gotta kill them all, Ichthyosaur. Yeah, there we go. Luckily, they, they don't really battle. Though. They just kind of like run. And I mean, as you can see, they're not really the, uh, not really the strongest of shit. Uh, I think he's trying to fight back against us. He's not really doing much, but there we go. We just killed some Ichthyosaurs. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Sharks are trying to come and like swarm the area. <laughs> Too bad, sharks. This is our food. Get out of here. Although this would be a perfect opportunity to try and uh, hit some of these sharks because these dead bodies are kind of attracting them, right? And we can't really use trank arrows underwater, so honestly, this could be a good strategy. We could lure some ichthyosaurs here, or maybe even like just throw a body kind of along the coast, and that way we can just start shooting some of these sharks with trank arrows and knock them out. That's probably our best bet now that I think about it. So, I mean, concerning the fact in about. Not, not about, not that, not that. In about, what is that, 50 XP points for ourselves. We're going to be hitting uh, the next level. Yo, those sharks are getting a little bit too deep. They're going to get like fucking... Shark, I don't think you should be... The, uh, well, if we had Trank Arrows, this would be the perfect opportunity to knock them out. Um, okay. I figured out definitely the best way of us taming a shark and uh, yo 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 mr shark you should not be coming this way my friend i'm gonna leave before we get eaten by sharks in our own fucking habitat the sharks should not be coming into the river okay so we're just gonna book it before they can follow us and we should be good to go because luckily for us shamu is a lot more maneuverable than a fat ass shark but this might bode well to the fact we might be able to actually store sharks in the river and if that's the case that's gonna be a lot easier than praying that they don't get killed in deep water and Shamu also does have another level here. So uh, let's start working on that stamina. Stamina. Ooh, stamina goes up a very good chunk. 40 stamina points. Whereas we're getting like 20 health in that shit. I'm thinking stamina might very well be our best bet. So I'm just going to go ahead. Park Shamu in his half-completed pen that I stopped working on. Because I realized he won't even fit through the fucking gate. <laughs> and uh, again, we're just going to keep our fingers crossed. He doesn't die by like a carno or something. Look at that little derp. Let's, let's hop on you. Let's get... Let's just, let's just... Come on, Shamu. How you doing? How you doing? Look at how beautiful Shamu is. Just look at him. Look at him. Let's like have his fin go a bit above water. There we go. Look at look at this beautiful, beautiful bastard. Mm -mm -mm. I love you, Shamu. Seriously, I just love the fact that whoever suggested that name in stream, I love you for suggesting that name. And we're starving and we're freezing. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get some food in us before before that happens. So I'm just going to do that off camera. You know, get some food in us. The, the basics that kind of matter. I'm just going to position Shamu here. So, worst case scenario, if we have to escape, we can escape somewhere. Uh, if I can get off Shamu, that would be nice. There we go. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, hopefully you guys love Shamu as much as I do. Because this is an awesome water mount. And, uh, honestly, as long as we make sure that the waters are clear, Shamu will be able to escort us down to the bottom of the ocean. And uh, help us knock out the Plesiosaur, which will hopefully happen soon. And, uh, along with knocking out the Plesiosaur, he will also be able to help us with... The other thing, the, 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 oh yeah, silica pearls, oil, all that shit, which is going to be crucial to us. So uh, as long as I can, this is not where you put the wood. Where the fuck did we put it upstairs? I think we did. I got to get this fire going so we don't starve to death. Because we're also freezing for some reason. Apparently there's like a cold front coming. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead, like I said, just get some get some fire cooking. Nothing, nothing insane here. Just cook up enough raw meat so we don't die. And, uh, yeah, really just call it a day there. Look at all the charcoal we're getting, man. We got enough charcoal to do a lot of things. Anyways, uh, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Really did. I mean, Shamu. I'm loving Shamu. And, uh, hope you guys are as well. If you have the chance, these mounts are very easy to get. Very useful from what I've seen for a really low-level water mount. Fuck me. They're an awesome low-level water mount. That is for sure. So, 
Personal opinion, if you can, try and snatch one of these if you're not high enough level for a Megalodon or some of that higher level shit. Crocodiles are actually really good too, though. I, I love crocodiles. Just so happens that Crockpot is now dead. So, that's where I'm at. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Signing out. Love you guys. See ya.